Hello Collective, Hello Collective. I I thought I would use this uh, light worker oracle to show you uh, what these cards were saying. So here we got out the heart transmission, the pink uh, rose of Lady Nada. That's beautiful, ain't it? And then we got grounding, life path. Oh, I love that spirit. Now let me read to you what it means, all right? So the heart transmission, this is about your heart is capable not only of giving and receiving love, but of connecting you to a great network of beings that resonate in the highest frequencies of divine love. Oh, so see, you're, you're vibrating on a higher frequency and people feel it. And through your heart, you can receive info and guidance from networks of light that fill our universe. As you learn to open your heart to receiving these transmissions, your ability to work with group consciousness in a loving way increases. Oh, thank you for that, spirit. You shall affect humanity in a loving way, increasing the collective, influencing the collective, rather than allowing the lower frequencies of the collective to overwhelm you. See, your your this is me. My heart doesn't one two five my birthday. That's how I know it's me. Uh, I, I meant to do this collective because I don't let lower energies drag me down. I never have in life. Uh, I never knew that I could read energy until I started. Uh, it's until I started noticing when some when I when somebody came in contact with me, I knew that their energy if it was off. Then I started reading it, and I know how to read energy. I do trust me. Oh, and then this pink. Rose, the pink rose of Lady Nada. Ain't that beautiful? Okay, and what that's saying is you are in the midst of a heart healing. A healing of the fears and anxieties that have held you back from enjoying your full magnificence. Lady Nada is here with all her gentle power, washing you in soft pink light. All anger, fear, sadness, bitterness, and disappointment, and hurt are soothed and loved into peace. She brings you a sign of your future blossoming into a deeper love. Ooh, it's deeper love coming into you. Stay grounded. Stay grounded. See, grounded. Stay grounded. Let me find that one. Hang on. I love you, Collective. I hope this helps you, and I hope you don't get mad because Spirit told me to read this today. And it says, You long for the free and open worlds of spirits and light. Yet you also yearn to experience the healing power and divine joy of sacred sound and living color. You are meant to bring joy, beauty, and comfort to this world. To share the spiritual light. To do so, you need grounding. Your dreams want you just as much as you want them. Grounding helps you bring your dreams to life in your world for the benefit of many. So, it says, you need to call upon the loving genius of the divine in my own spirit. Please help me now through unconditional love and divine mercy to ground all levels of my being so I can manifest my highest and most lovingly joyful destiny now. I enjoy being present in the here and now with my body and my breath, receiving spiritual light and shining it through my heart into the world. I love my body and my senses, my soul and my heart. They are all avenues for my spirit to experience and express in this world for the greatest good. My, may all living beings feel helpful, grounding through unconditional love for the highest good. Through my own free will, so be it. Oh, yes, say that in motion. You can rewind it, Collective, and that will help you on your life path. This, this, is, this is your purpose, is to raise this vibe. Did you get it? I know that I was supposed to do that because I was supposed to be a spiritual service to others. I don't know it. Hang on a minute. And then, 20 life path. And this is, do you wonder about your divine life path and purpose? You have been enrolled in spiritual training. This training might be obvious in the form of a course you are undertaking or hidden in a life lesson that is currently triggering your healing, learning, or growth. Whether it is obvious or not, successfully completing this training will empower you to fulfill your divine purpose this lifetime. Further clarity will be revealed to you. The universe promises that you shall know what you need at the perfect time and in a way 
that you cannot miss. Ooh. It says, at times your training may be aligned with study or applying your skills in ways that seem more obviously aligned with the spiritual path. And at other times, your spiritual training may be disguised in ordinary life circumstances. It says, if you are unsure of what you're meant to be learning of, exactly you are in a spiritual training at the moment. If, if you're unsure what you're meant to be learning, look to the situations in your life that are causing you the most struggle at this moment. This is where you will find your training take place. The struggle is the place where holding on is competing with letting go. It is, however, nothing to be ashamed of, a growth edge. Where you are doing the inner work of growing into more peace, trust, and love, this is a sign you are certainly growing. It isn't, a, it isn't comfortable. Sometimes it might cause fatigue and even a feeling of defeat. Yet you shall not give up. You shall continue, and in time you shall triumph with a feeling of peace, resolution, and wisdom. If you're feeling stuck, perhaps you're working on a significant issue or challenge that won't seem to resolve itself, no matter how much you're trying, how much effort you apply. You're being guided to ask for help from your spiritual team using the emotion below. Call upon your higher self and soul to take over all aspects of this issue. Be patient. Do not resist what is but neither collapse into it either. Use your spiritual practice and meditate and journaling or dance or art or yoga or time of nature or prayer to strengthen you as you move through this training. So you need to call upon the wise and unconditionally loving ones to assist you now in perceiving, living and manifesting my truest and most joyful life path and divine purpose. Help me know what I need to know when I need to know it and when and with everything else, may I be assisted to feel peace, trust, and patience as my beautiful life path unfolds. Guided by the loving hand of the universe, may unconditional love reach into the hearts of all living beings, helping every creature to find true fulfillment of their destiny. So be it. So be it, collective. You need to say that now, collective. I'm telling you, I'm trying to help you. Trying to help you, collective. Yes, I'm trying to help you. Spirit, can we? Let's see what this these tell us. I ain't did these in a while. Spirit, what is something else we the collective needs to know? Oh, the Dharma wheel number eleven. Karmic lessons, peer pressure, moral codes. You're 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 opening your heart up to a new level. You're trying to uh, you you know you're trying to. Get out of this karmic lessons. You you need to cut ties with this karmic. Whoever it is in your life. Energy medicine. Sensuality. Devotion. Celestial fertility. Deep rest. So I think that you might be an energy, an energy worker and... Somebody might be peer pressuring you into doing something that goes against your moral codes. Are you listening? Grounding. That's the way I am seeing that. That's the way I see it saying it. Hang on a minute. Well-being. Okay, grounding. This will help your well-being. This is self-preservation. Service to spirit. Youthful experience. You're someone who's very beautiful and youthful looking. You're getting grounded at the moment. You're rooted in learning more and, and cutting these lessons, letting go of these lessons that, you know, you need to learn from and get away from them. And then with this life path, we got magical alchemy. This is about innovation, ingenuity, curiosity. You're ahead of your times. So you're ahead of your times and whatever this is that you're working on. This is what you're meant to do. So people is seeing that. That people are seeing that you've had a lot of karmic lessons to learn in your life. They see you as someone who is um, like a celestial energy here healer. They see you as someone very loving and open to learning more. Uh, they know you're self-preserving yourself at the moment and. And that you're someone who 
is meant to help a lot of people figure out their life paths and uh sacred space there's a positive outcome getting ready to happen collective you're going to gain clarity this is a lucky attraction removing obstacles Ooh, the divine's doing it did you hear that the divine is moving these ops removing these obstacles out of your way you're you're uh, you're attracting luck you're attracting luck and love at the moment this is a galactic vibration that's happening at the moment this is your personal conviction raising your resilience you're a direct channel yeah this is about your personal convictions everything you've learned is deep down in you and it's calling out for like the whole galactic the the whole universe this vibe you're sending out this vibe from your sacred space you're sending out this loving vibe from your sacred space. Collective, I love you, spirit. How you tell? Oh, God Almighty, that's why. A violet flame, violet fire. This is transmutation, detoxification, psychic vision, constant distraction. So maybe you're sending out a vibe of that you're constantly distracted over this damn uh, twin ray. Or twin flame, I mean, twin flame. So, uh, but you've had a vision about your twin or something. Your twins had a vision about you and you, your sacred space. They've had a vision that this was it, your all's purpose. Maybe they, they weren't speaking to you, maybe. Maybe they thought that you was crazy when you talked to them about this was your life purpose and then we got anti corona and this is crossing that rainbow bridge resurrection coming full circle oh you got resurrected baby you're a new being you're a brand new baby being that's what it means now life look this is your life path it's come full circle you're getting ready to uh you're getting ready to be a good spiritual mentor. I see it, Collective. Because Archangel Michael's helping you. This is about you have a heart of a damn warrior. You have divine protection and synchronicities. You see them everywhere. The birds are showing you. The numbers are showing you. Every day you see 333. That's how you know the angels are helping you. Okay? That's why. I love you, Collective. I hope that you love that how i'm doing and i i don't like that old energy it's crazy like you know what collective <clears throat> at sometimes it wants to stick over here on me and you all know it hang on a minute let me see what one of these say oh hearth this is where you feel comfort this you feel comfort in your sacred space you know this is your home this is number 11, 11, 11. Oh, twin flame loves you, you see. Do you feel comfort at your house? Yeah, baby. Oh, and then we got beginnings in the east. Ooh, so there's three. I told you the Cinemaster C3. So you might be seeing 311 a lot. Oh, and I made a card and it has a Bible verse 311. I remember that the other day. And so in the east, so maybe you're from the east coast and you're giving out this galactic vibration all the way around the world look look your damn vibration is going out all the way around the east coast look there and it's love it's this loving healing you have a great passionate creative energy inside of you that's celestial okay it's celestial this is what you're sending out. And everybody feels it, baby. You're the, the galactic vibration is rising. Oh, gosh. This is alchemy 43. Ooh. The, look. This, this twin flame is alchemizing. They're alchemizing that you get better and you feel better about yourself. They're alchemizing being a service of spirit with you. They're alchemizing this with you. They're getting grounding at the moment. They're, they're feeling this. You're transmuting all this energy and detoxifying, though. You had a psychic vision that you had to transmute all that old 
low energies into this loving vibe of violet flame to put out into the collective. This is galactically happening, okay? To help the well-beings of many. That's what it's talking about. That's exactly what it's talking about. So stay grounded while you're doing this, okay, collective? I love you all. Ooh, and this, you're alchemizing a diamond. Look, pressure, you know. You had to put pressure to form a diamond. That's how you transform. You transform. They put pressure on you, and they might have put pressure on your channel to make you feel pressure. And because you was having to cross this rainbow bridge, you was being resurrected. It's come kind of full circle. Oh, Look, magic, you, you're, you're, you're ingenuine. Like, you create shit that people's never thought of on your life path, and God recognizes it. God recognizes it, and your twin recognizes it. Look, was this 37? Yeah, look at this. Your twin recognizes it. Look, magnetism, look, 37. Your twin recognizes you. They love you. They're magnetically connected to you. Oh, gosh. And they might live in the West, and you live in the East. You put the puzzle piece together just then. See the puzzle piece? You put the puzzle piece. I did. I just helped somebody. So your twin might live in the West, and you live in the East, or they live in the East, and you live in the West. And you just needed a good cry. You had to cry this shit out. Just let out those emotions. Cry them out. You're speaking your voice to the world at the moment. You're showing people who you are. You're building from the belly. You're disciplined with your time. You're disciplined with your time. That's what it is. I love that collective. Don't you all love it? I'm going to have to get off here in just a second, Collective. i got to get in here and cook some supper for me and my little fur babies. Let me give y'all one of these. Collective. Oh, looky here. To conform is to die inside. Be brave. Be yourself. You don't conform. Spirit loves you for that. I love you for that, okay? The time of guilt and shame ends now. Forgive yourself and begin to love yourself just as you are. Quit feeling guilty. Love yourself. Let all that old die. Don't even bring it back up to the surface. That old shit, that past, you know. It is time for a change. Do not wait or put off decisions any longer. Ooh. Maybe that twin is... They're tired of feeling shame and shit. They're ready to come towards you. Nature is calling you. It wants to touch you, fulfill, and protect you with its healing powers. You need to go out in nature today because the love of your dragon reaches out to you. The realm of your truth is opening up. Oh, the realm of your truth is opening up. Bye-bye. You get ready to cross that bridge of happiness. It leads over the depths of your emotions. So see, you're, you got to cry out some emotions because that rain card come out earlier, remember? You need to cry out some, some emotions, okay? And, and a new strategy is required, finding the path to love and happiness. That was the next card out. You are experiencing a spiritual blossoming. Take a new direction and be open to new experiences. Because success and happiness are coming, you're going to enjoy and celebrate life here soon enough, collective now. <coughs> soon enough, you're going to now, babes. Let's see if we get one of these little cards. It says, Night Mantra. Magic is everywhere to see it and the effects it has on your life change the way you perceive the world. To harness it, change the way you interact with the energies around you. To know it, change the way you think. To live it, remember the lessons of your night as you go about your day. Oh, that's true. So you need to say that at night. You can rewind it and listen to what it just said. Air. Air is one of the four elements. 
In the tarot deck, air aligns with swords. In, in astrology, is represented by Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Air represents a catalyst and signifies a change as well as the intellect. The vibrations of air can help you achieve altered states of consciousness. Oh, did you hear that? Magically use the air element because you're clairsentient. Those who are clairsentient know in their bodies. If your palms, my, mine do this every day. If your palms always itch when someone lies to you. Did you hear that? Or if you read about an herb and feel the illness it treats in your body, then you are displaying clairsentience. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's me. Observe a pattern. Make it your new normal to pay attention to the size of the wind, the flight paths of the birds, and the whispers of the leaves. They all have a story to tell if you're willing to listen. You need to go outside in the air tonight. Your body needs to go outside in the air tonight. And, and feel something. If your hand is itching, if you ask somebody a question, they're lying to you. Did you listen to that part? And my hands itches. Yes, show me. Yes. Think of a yes, no question. Use a pendulum or a small ball on a string and let it swing free. Ask it to show you yes, then no. Notice the difference. Now ask your question and record your results. Ooh. Somebody said yes. You, yes, you're observing a pattern that your hands itch every time this person gets in contact with you, it seems like. Your vibes is helping you. Oh, the collective unconscious. Psychotherapist Carl Jung posted that each of us has a direct link to the collective unconscious. It's the place from which all our symbols, archetypes, and rituals originate. Can you think of something you know to be true, but you're not sure where that knowledge came from? Yeah, that's what I was just saying. It's like, yes, you don't know it's true, but you still keep. And it might be about a Virgo. You know it's true, you know, whatever it is. And this, a, a Virgo is very methodical. They're detail-oriented. They're focused on organizing, completing, and analytical thinking. They're concerned with health and food community service and sensitive to criticism so so the collective has noticed uh, a pattern about about this air this air sign her palms is itching that this person is lying to her and it's a Virgo. Sorry, but that's just how it said it. Sorry, but that's how it said it. You're unleashing your senses. How does the night feel on your skin? It is a blanket or a butterfly kiss. Is it the night air, humid, playful, sensible, chilly? You need to interpret the symbolism of a rowan tree. Begin with history and mythology. Then look at modern scientific and or engineering information. Take a gander at known symbolism. Symbolism. End with your personal reflection. You need to reflect when your senses is telling you that this Virgo is lying to you or this air sign is lying to you. Okay? You need to let the moon be your pocket watch. Research how the moon can be used to mark the hours of the night. But anyway, collective, that's all I know. That's all I got. That's all I got, okay? Hello? Let me give you one of these little messages, see what it says. According to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other house. This is Plato's The Symposium, The Symopsum. So, you know, that's like twin flames, if you believe in twin flames. You're all split apart, and you're always searching for your other half. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm. No anxiety, no agitation. Oh, doesn't that feel wonderful? 24, 24, 66. Maybe your soulmate is a Virgo or a Pisces. Start reclaiming who you truly are. Oh, yeah, you need to. Oh, gosh. I have found the one that my soul loves. Oh, God. Maybe your Virgo made you ace of spades. Mine did. 
Mine did. They made me that. They carved it for me. They love me. Release your worries and receive universal abundance. Release all these worries at the moment, Collective. Don't hang on to old crap, Collective. Don't you do it. <clears throat> and it says all you need is to believe in yourself. That's all you need to believe in yourself. And in the end, you tried and you cared, and sometimes that is enough. Maybe you're telling this one person, uh, maybe an air sign or a Virgo, you, you know, you cared. I care for you, but sometimes that ain't enough. Sometimes you just need to be on your own, maybe. It says, try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. You're trying to be a rainbow with someone else. That's why I'm, both your spades fell out over our hang on. You're reclaiming who you truly are. Never give up on something that you really want. Never give up on something you really want. You want a person who comes into your life by accident, but stays on purpose. Ooh, twin flames. The hottest love has the coldest end. Ooh. So, you know, you want a person who comes into your life on accident, but they stay with you on purpose. Never give up on that person that you want. This is your purpose. Your purpose is to never give up on something that you want. And remember, the hottest love has the coldest end out here, Collective. And you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. Everything you ever wanted is on the other side of the fear. Everything you ever wanted is on this other side of the fear. And sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. Boy, ain't that true. And take a leap of faith into the unknown. Because you fall in love when you're ready or not. When you're lonely. Fall in love when you are ready, not when you are lonely. You're taking a leap of faith. You're ready to take this leap of faith and fall in love. Because your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. You know that. You got to let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. You know, life is tough, but so are you. So are you, baby. Life is art. Paint, paint your dreams. Sing your songs. Enjoy the dance. Souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. You are on your way to meeting your true love. Everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already with you. It's already with you, babies. That's all I got, Collective. I love y'all. My back's hurting. I hope this helps somebody out here tonight. <clears throat> if it helps you, you could leave me a comment. I appreciate it very much. I love you guys. I love y'all very much. Did y'all want a little one of my cards? I don't know what'll come out. Spirit, can we have something? Someone is so excited to be in a new relationship with you. They thank the stars up above for bringing you into their life. Ooh, somebody is in it in a new relationship or going towards a new relationship if you're not in one they think the stars in heaven for you somebody needs to give yourself time to be single and alone and get to know what you truly want for yourself so maybe you're going into a new relationship by yourself and remember your bad decisions will come back and bite you in the ass when you least expect it to happen oh you, you're learning to do the right thing first you're learning to do the right thing first. Oh, and somebody might have put a hidden camera on you, Collective. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind about what I'm telling you. Don't just cast it out. Should have just told you the truth from the get-go. This person, this person can't get you off their mind. They're watching you on camera. And this might have been somebody that you poured all your love out onto and... They never, they never told you that they loved you, but they did. They did. They loved you. They loved you. But I think you might have learned your lesson, maybe. But it says, I'll never forget that look you gave me. It made me weak in the knees. It took me by a huge surprise to sense our love a burning from long ago. That's by me, Pound Star Oracle. See? 
Let's weaken the knees up. It's biting them in the ice because they didn't. It's biting them in the ass because they didn't come towards you and tell you that they really loved you. It's biting them now. They wished for you. I saw it in there. And and you know if this person is a good fit for you or not. And you know if you need to cut ties with a person. You you have enough sense for that because you got an open mind. That's why, baby. Bay. You know it'll always be more hurdles to jump in life, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Oh, and somebody might be uh, needing to jump a hurdle about uh, legal action about sexual harassment. Somebody might be going through that in a collective. And you, you might have helped a lot of people. And these people chose to spread lies on you. This person that you're going to take legal action with. Uh, they lied and said you was an addict, and it was always more hurdles to jump with that person. And and uh, they they might have got their kids taken because of drug use and fighting. Some people that was lying on you, I don't know, but that came out for somebody in a collective, and they might live by the ocean. These people who had a lot of their kids took. These people that might have lied on you, I don't know. But what is it about, Spirit? Oh, it was a test. Give up or keep on going. It was a test with this person that lived by the ocean that they they lost their kids and this person went around lying on you and now maybe somebody's going to take legal action because you're a person. People see you with high self-esteem because your gifts help many different people from many different walks of life and your soul is joyous. This is what I'm meant to do, see? This is what I do. This is what I do for the collective. Keep on going, collective. Be grateful for the little things and all things so you can thrive in life. Oh, I'm grateful and I thank you, God, for every gift that you give me. I thank you for just having lights every day. And I love going outside and hugging trees, me and my collective. We like looking at the pretty flowers and looking up in the sky. And we're grateful for our dogs and our cats. And we're just grateful for everything like that. And we know how to be smart and wise with our money that we get. Because we know rough and tough times always hit. So we got to remember not to overspend. Be grateful and don't spend your money just because you have it. Don't spend your money just because you have it, our dumb dogs, okay? Oh, and uh, they might be a cowboy that's lying and saying you slept with them or just another person in general. They went around lying. They just, uh, they they knew you were gifted and this person wanted to be tied to you. That's how it was, and you know it, and you told. And probably you told, and it's okay. And, and this person wanted to keep going back and forth with you over and over, and you stopped this cycle, and good for you. Good for you. Now they played with gins. They sent gins to do something to you, collective. This person that lied and said that you slept with them and you never fucking did. And, and, and um, you, you, you had to keep going back and forth with this person. This could be somebody that you worked with that you're taking legal action about sexual harassment. You stopped this down cycle. This person might wish that you would have a car wreck or die from a disease. This man that you didn't want and uh these people was jealous of your gifts and they was jealous of you and your partner and your relationship because they had no true love like you do and it pissed them off and that might have been their friend and, and they know oh and because that person's mad because they're in they're stuck in a dead relationship it's all cold and and uh and it's all cold over there at their house and there's no true love and they bitch and just gripe about everything collective that's all they do and who wants to live like that i don't i thank you god i would i, I would not live like that no no and we know how to praise him we know how to praise god and thank you god thank you and we know sometimes we'll fail but don't let our help failures hold us back from what God wants us to have, you got to keep going after your goals. Keep going after your goals because this person was just trying to. You might have talked to them about things that was going on in your life. And this person just wanted to keep pulling more people in your in your life and in your situation. They told all your secrets. Seven of Swords. 
They didn't do it intentionally, but they told our secrets and fuck that person. Fuck that person. The law knows who the down people are. Oh, that's all that matters, collective. The law knows who these people are. And the law knows that you're a black sheep and you got outcasted by these people. It could have been a family of people that you worked with. You you got outcasted because you wasn't in their family. They didn't think you belonged, but you had to break a curse with these people because they hurt a lot of people. Did you see that? That's right, because you're a person of influence in your community, and people like to listen to you, that, that you know you got a lot of sense. And I know I do, and these fuck these people. And the law knows that that person failed their drug test, that one that went against you and told all this shit. They know that they're playing with spirits. And, and uh, they're scared because they're getting ready to lose their job. <laughs> That's what it means. The law knows it, okay? And uh, you made an oath to the divine long ago to come here to this day and age to warn others to clean up their insides and their actions and raise the vibes of the planet. And that's what I come here to do. And that's what I did. And somebody might be scared they fooled around and lost the best thing that they ever have. And you're getting ready to move on away from a fucking snake. Because you kept watering and watering and giving it love. You kept watering and watering. And this snake, all they do is spy on you. They might even moved close to you, this fucking snake that you give love to that you used to work with. They might even live close to you. And uh, they know that you're getting ready to partner up with somebody that loves you. Or you already are in a partnership that somebody loves you. And... And this person's mad because you don't let them come back and put one over on you again. That's all it is. That's all it is, Collective. That's it. I love y'all, Collective. That's all I can do. I hope that helps you. But remember, red flags. When you see red flags, get the fuck out. Okay, Collective? I love you all. I hope that helps somebody. And if it helps you, would you please leave me a comment? I thank you very, very much. I thank you, and I love you all. And I hope y'all have a wonderful night. Okay? Peace.